Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. My name is Sean, and today we're going to look at a new feature that it allows you to make many web pages from one Photoshop design. And if you want, have them all connected together with links. You can make an entire website with your single PSD file. So uh, let me show how you do that. Here's Photoshop. And uh, here's the uh, demo example that uh, we have on the website. Um, the new feature is called page or underscore page. Uh, as you may know, you uh, all the features of PSD to CSS Online are uh, tricks about how you name the layers in Photoshop uh, to get uh, PSD to CSS Online to generate different code or dynamic code or JavaScript or whatever you need. In this case, we're going to use uh, layers that are called underscore page. They're special. Here, I'll show you one. Yeah, this will be our first one. Uh, they're special in that uh, uh, for all of the underscore page layers, here, let's zoom in on this one. This is called underscore page text. Um, for all of the underscore page layers, um, PSD to CSS Online will generate a whole new HTML file for each of those layers. And for each of those HTML files, it will only put that one underscore page layer in. Of, of all the page layers. It'll put everything else. It'll put menus in the backgrounds. It'll put all, everything else in. But uh, for index.html in this case, it will only put index underscore page. It won't put, for instance, uh, about underscore page. This is going to force PSD to CSS Online to make a different HTML file called about.html, and it will only include this layer and not the index page and not the products page. So uh, I hope that makes sense. Let's see if I can kind of illustrate here by what uh, what's in the page itself. Um, so right now, here's a big text area that we've called uh, index underscore page. So for my home page, that's the only thing that's going to be visible here in the middle. I've also got uh, a layer called underscore products page. And it's the outside, it's the big layer here with all the stuff inside it. You can see it right here. So underscore products page. And it's also empty too. That's just so we don't see that, uh, that color for it. Um, underscore empty just forces no image inside the div all the other uh, all the other layers inside uh, an empty layer are still there uh, so products underscore page becomes kind of a container for all this other stuff that you can see a, a container for these images of my product these text areas to describe each product the uh, the dynamic buy now buttons that we've got um, so but this but again this is all inside products underscore page it's just another page oops so there'll be one HTML file made with just that in the contact section. So that's how the page, the underscore page uh, uh, feature works. Um, the neat thing it too uh, that helps is a, a minor change we made to how the link and link overs work. Um, you used to make a link and a link over. For example, here's index link and index link over. You can see that going on and off. Um, and it would make uh, href tags, but it would leave them empty. Uh, now it makes the it fills the href PSD to CSS online fills the href tag with an HTML file per this name so index underscore link over that href tag will automatically have index.html in it so this link is automatically points to index.html this one over here products this autom products underscore link over products underscore link these links automatically point to products.html and likewise with about this now points to about.html automatically you don't have to go in and edit it with a text editor so that really works super handy with uh, this the new page feature because uh, our index underscore page here is going to make an index.html and now this menu will point to it our products page products underscore page that's going to make a products.html file and this menu will point to it. So in the end, what happens is you make a menu and you call these things home link or index, index link over and products link over and uh, about us link over. And you make some pages that uh, are called the same things, 
with underscore page, and PSD to CSS Online will generate all the HTML files, and your menu will point to all of them. All your menus on every page will point to all the right pages. You don't have to write any code. You, you end up with a fully connected website uh, from your menu without writing any code. You just draw it in Photoshop, name those layers right, and it, and it works. So let's uh, let's see how this how this goes. So here's our Photoshop file. We'll save it. Here, well, I'll show you where I'm saving it as. Save as um, in Pages. Yep, we'll replace it. There we go. Okay, so that's in this folder over here on my desktop. So we'll just go to PSD to CSS Online. We will upload pages.psd and let it crank away on that. And so while that's uh, uploading, oh, the uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, the uh, I know the quality of the video is not very good. Um, you can see a high resolution version of the same exact video on the website. Um, if you're on YouTube right now, there should be a link over on the right hand side of the screen to it in the description there. Um, I know it's pretty hard to see those layer names and stuff in Photoshop, so. Uh, if you go watch the high-resolution version, then uh, then you can see it all. It's much clearer and easier to follow. Um, so there we go. So it's all finished. Uh, we don't even have to download it because I don't need to change any any of the uh, uh, any of the text. So here's here's the front page index.html. You can see index.html. Um, our menu, of course, works. There's no text in here yet. Uh, just the default text that we put in, but if I click on products here, it goes to a new file. It goes to products.html. The link is live. The file was generated, and here, of course, you can see the images that are my products. You can see the text that we would change to to match our products. We've got our buy now buttons, and likewise, we can go to about us. This is uh, about us.html, not index.html. So this is a brand new web page. And uh, and that's it. Uh, I haven't written a line of code. I didn't even look at any code. And uh, the website is, uh, I've got three pages that are all connected by this neat menu. So, uh, so that's how that works. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, drop me an email and uh, have fun. Thanks.